And welcome back folks to a Let's Play Super Mario 64. I'm Gun Games and just something to let you know folks. Last time on the last video my recorder cut off just over 25 minutes. Now I think that's because I only have such a limit on my videos. Unfortunately I didn't realise this and I lost about 2 minutes of footage which also unfortunately I safe stated over which means I can't actually go back on it. But I did get the star, as you can see. Just like another few things, folks. I'm not going to be like recording and uploading as much. Basically, I haven't been getting as lot of sleep because I've been recording early, really late at night or really early in the morning. So what I've decided to do after I've done this part from now on I'll record like on a Friday and I'll, like upload them like one one through the week one at a time means I really don't like back recording because I miss a lot of stuff like if I'm on so I never let's play a stream and I get mentioned and a lot of people ask me some stuff that I can't answer and I'll answer them I miss a lot of stuff and it doesn't seem right to me because I want to make sure I've caught up with everything that's going on now I'm gonna keep checking some of the tours because there's one or two of them that actually give you a star. But I will be finishing off Fomp's Fortress in this one. And possibly starting on another one. Are you going to a star? No. Let's finish off this level then, folks. And one of the most annoying stars on this level. I say this because some of the stars are placed in the most annoying location. I mean, some of the red coins are placed in the most annoying location. No, 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 no. Well, that was good. Gone. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh dear. I'm hoping this is not as going to be as bad as last time. Where it took me a good nearly enough 10 minutes to do one red coin star on the wing cap course. I'm going to try not to be as bad this time. It's just the placement of these red coins are so annoying. There's like some right next to Piranha Plant, some on top of like on this guy, some hard to reach without dying. And then there's some that you've got to be reached, got to the platform to reach them is going to be get, gotten so accurately, it's unreal. I mean, things like this one, which is stupidly annoying to get. Because something, stuff like that happens. If we do, we shuffle in. <laughs> And then there's this one, which if you f that, or if you don't get it right, you can either get knocked into that wall there, or you can fall off. Then there's this one, down here. And I've missed that extra life. That one's not too hard to get, it's the last two that bug me. Because where they're placed is so hard to get, so hard to keep the platform to get to go along to them. It's so hard to keep on, and so hard to not fall off. It's unreal. Especially since as we can't move your camera to suit you, to suit it. Oh, I haven't seen that bug before. See the platform to get to Lasso is this folks and you cannot No 
matter how much I've tried to set the camera right, this I can't set it straight on so I can look properly. That's the best thing. As soon as I get up close up to it, that happens. And you have to be very, very careful. Because in some parts of this, if you fall off, you're dead. Time to get the cage one now. You see what I mean, folks? It's so easy to get the coins in this, this one, especially the hundred coin one. Now this one, as I mentioned earlier, I remember how to do, and it's very not. It can be annoying because a tip for this. There's a big good tip for this. If when you get on the hour, when you press A to jump, do not let it go of A. Whatever you do, because if you do, you'll fall off. And if you fall off in the wrong place, you can end up falling down and dying. Oh, you... <sighs> Come back down here. Now when your fans stop moving upwards like that, you can control them as to, a, to a degree. It's hard to control them properly, but you can control how well the owl goes. Right, now we just need to finish up this level then. And as usual, I will use it. red coins. Not sure if I'll get the star for it, red, the red coin star though, folks. Might get lost. In fact, no, I'll get the tower one. The tower one's easiest to do, really. Pick, pick it up then, Mario. No, I don't know if some of you watched The Big Bang Theory, but there's an episode of The Big Bang Theory where Sheldon's actually playing. Super Mario 64 on an emulator. Now it says it's probably color coded emulator. I'm not actually sure if he's using Project 64 though. It'd be cool if he was. But I don't find Project 64 annoying. It's always been, I've always used it. Never used anything else. Never had a problem with it. And I've been using this one for years, folks. Hmm. I've always wondered, do they ever reappear or do they just wait till your camera goes off them? Oh, you. That was crap. That really was rubbish. Now, there's been quite a few of us Let's Players I've recently got into contact with, and a few of them that I'd like to give a shout out to is like the Love iPhone 06, Mr. Lightman, and. I can't remember the other one. I th no, in fact, I think those are the only ones I've actually recently subscribed to that I've read talked to regularly. I don't know if, uh, I know Shillibix does Let's Plays, but I don't know if, uh, Law Lawley, uh, does Let's Plays. I can't remember. But those are some channels, other channels to for you to uh, check out, folks, and they are really good Let's Plays. Just something I thought you might want to check out as well. Just help them out. They help me out. It's just the way we roll in the community, really.
Also, folks, just like, uh, I'm not actually going to tell you the full details of it because I don't think uh, my person I'm going to be doing it with actually wants everyone to know just yet. But sometime in the future, I will be doing like a co op commentary let's play on another uh, let's play channel. Now, I'll tell you more about it in the future, but. Thank you.